Well, Cody and I have a special show for you today. With the show, we get the opportunity to go out and do a lot of different things, such as giving away buster boats in a contest or having drawings for uh, youth or disabled hunts. And today, you'll see a, a little bit of that. That's right. We gave a, a hunt away here at the Bass Pro Shop at the Fall Classic for uh, the youth hunt that takes place in October, the rifle hunt for doe. And we're excited. I think the, uh, the winner of the drawing is back in the hunting section. We're going to go meet up with them. She should be there with Todd Craighead. And uh, we're going to talk about what's coming up for the hunt. Let's go meet them. Let's go do it. Well, we're here with Shanae. She's the winner of the Youth Analyst Deer Hunt. Uh, this is going to be a really cool show because this is your first time out in the woods, first time uh, with a gun and going hunting. So we're going to have a good time. Make sure she's prepared uh, to go out and you know have a good time hunting and be safe and all that stuff. Uh, but last year we went out on this hunt. Uh, Cody and I were old enough, or young enough, should I say, uh, to be a part of it. But we're a year older this year. Uh, but the hunt's going to take place at Chain Ranch, and we're looking forward to a good time. We get to hunt with Shanae and also CSF is bringing out six other specially uh, challenged youth that we're going to get to hunt with and it's going to make for a great show, but uh, we'll catch back up with you when we get in the woods. We're excited about this hunt. The guy uh, at the ranch said, you know, maybe look and see where they, that you last saw them, uh, because they got that bloodhound they can track, and that's a little better than if we get down real early. I know we're excited, you know, we want to go see it, yeah. but, but uh, we just got to wait, because that's important. One thing that will hurt you, you know, if, say something happened and, and we just didn't get this deer, we still got other hunts to go, but one thing that really hurts you is if you go out and, and you got a deer, especially, you know, if you start hunting more and you start hunting for them trophy bucks, and, and you got one that would have been down, but you go and jump him. And they get that second wind, and they'll be gone. Yeah. And uh, and that's one thing we got to remember. We'll, we'll stay here for about an hour. Uh, let her bed down somewhere. Of course, she may just be right there. Yeah, but, uh, those trees right there. Right. But um, we'll wait here, and that's one thing you want to remember, as well as the viewers, especially if you're first starting hunting. You know, you saw her uh, down on the left side of that that hill, uh, and she was facing towards the left. Um, we want to move the first place or the place you shot at her because there may be some blood there if she did run off. So you can start tracking there. Uh, and then you want to see the last place you look for because if she runs into a tree line, uh, make sure you mark that last spot uh, so you know exactly what kind of direction she's going in. Just in case you can't really find blood for a little while. Yeah. Did you feel about that shot? Good. Felt good. It felt smooth. Yep. Well, I know you shot this this gun yesterday for the first time out the out at the range out here at the ranch and did pretty good. And Tuesday was your first time to shoot a gun. Yes. Uh, 223 out at Gun World in Sunny Lane on Dell City. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody took you up there. Uh, you did pretty good. Outshot him. Yeah. Uh, I didn't rag on him too hard because, like I said, she outshot me yesterday. But you know that's that's important. Get out and you know get comfortable with your gun. Uh, we had you shoot with that smaller caliber to get comfortable with a rifle at first, you know, and go through the basic steps of safety, and then uh, 
get comfortable shooting and aiming through a scope and then uh, step up a little bit to 30 out six. It's a big jump, but she she didn't yeah, act like it was in. like it was no big deal. I'd have been hurting. We're gonna go down in the bottom and see if we can't find some blood somewhere. She may be back behind that uh, those trees. The good thing is we got the camera, so uh, we kind of got we got to look on the film and get a little better estimate of where she was at. That's a that's a plus. A lot of times you don't have the benefit of having that camera there, but uh, it's really good during archery season when you can see where our arrows go. But um, let's head on out. I think that was a pretty good morning. Saw deer early on. I hate to spoil you, you know, but when you come out to chain, it kind of happens. Head back to camp. I know Cody and Marcus is he he was hunting with him. They were hog hunting, and uh, we're gonna check in with them, see how good they do. They did. I think they saw some last night, but. Good shot, bud. Good shot. Did I get him? Yeah, you got him. You got him good. Okay. Good shot. Good shot. Good shooting, bud. Yeah, I liked it. On, right on impulse, man. Yeah. yeah, he'll probably, I think he'll go 80 or 90 pounds. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. That's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. First hog? Yeah. It's the first time you ever hunted first something? First time. First time hunting. Hunting anything? Hunting anything. Awesome, bud. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got to be with you. I tell you what. I've had a lot of fun with Marcus this weekend. I got to got to know him a little closer, and he's a he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's a good kid, and uh, 18 years old. He's the same age as Cody and I, and so uh, we're actually out at Chain Ranch doing the uh, we're doing the doe hunt that goes on every year in October for the youth that they get to use rifles during October and, and shoot a doe. And uh, Cody and I come out and help out at Chain Ranch with uh, sports uh, Christian Sportsman's Fellowship. And they uh, they bring a bunch of kids out every year and. Marcus was one of them, but he's he's too old to deer hunt, so we decided we'd come out and do a hog hunt with him. 
So uh, it worked out pretty good. Got some blood right here. You got some blood already? Yeah, right, 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 right in here. Oh yeah, look at that. A big spot here. Man, you you got a good shot good on him, bro. Shot. Okay, so you got to see. All right, you just follow the blood trail. You're the right. you the tracker here. Got some, we got this. We got a spot right here. Okay. And, uh, and he kind of made a little twirly around. He did some weird stuff, didn't he? And then he came over this way. You can see some. Uh, some little... You following that blood trail? You following that blood trail? What's that up behind the tree over there? Oh, what is that? I think that's him right there. Is that him right there? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. Let's go him. look at him then. Right. <clears throat> He's on over to him. We got a hunter on our hands today. Boy, look at that. There you go. Man, yeah, what do you think about that? Nah, this is a big hog. Yeah, it's a big hog. <laughs> this is gonna be some good eating. Yeah, you ain't lying, but I tell you what, them, them hogs right there eat real good. Yeah, yeah, tasty too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what do you think, man? We we hunted last night and, and didn't see a whole lot, and normally the evening hunt is when it's the best. Yeah. We come out this morning and we had hogs in front of us as soon as we got in the blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, it worked out. It, it, they're kind of tough the way they bunch up and yeah. you gotta wait for them to single out. and. But man, I tell you what, you put a heck of a shot on him. Yeah, I mean, right, I told him, I said, wait till he turns broadside and put it right behind his shoulder. Yeah, that was a good and shot. he showed, he, he put it right behind my shoulder. Yeah. yeah, we had a good blood trail, no problem finding him. Yeah, was... Good hog, bud, congratulations. Marcus's first hunt, yeah. I got to be on it with him. Yeah. And he killed him a good hog, he's happy with that hog. Yeah, Excellent, bud. I bet everybody be pumped for you back at camp. Yeah, yeah. You think? <laughs> All right, bud, I'm pumped. I got to give you one more five on that. Put it here, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're back out in the woods. We're in a, a new bind. This morning, uh, Shanae shot at a, a nice doe, but uh, it was a pretty far shot. Uh, definitely far for a first deer shot, about 130 yards. And uh, we went and looked at the video, and also we went and tried to look for some blood. And, uh, just decided that she had a, a clean miss and um, you know that, that was a pretty difficult shot uh, so we went back in and had a little bit of a kind of a brunch type deal and just relaxed and watched the watch the football game and decided to come back out to a new spot and uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good spot we've I've seen a lot of deer in this area out here out at the chain ranch for uh, the exact same spot that last year when I was with CSF the kid I had um, he took his dough out here so hopefully uh, it'll be good the, Good thing is up here is to, to our north, we've got a north wind, and that's usually where the deer will come in, uh, and hopefully they'll be moving. We're kind of on a sand hill, and they kind of move this low bottom. It's like a little draw, um, but hopefully they'll be moving, and we can get a shot on one.
Got her. Got her. I think you got her. She didn't. She didn't fly that much. I think you. I think you got her. Yes. Jesus, she ran up over Calvin's heel. I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna. Let's, let's just give her some time. Um, we definitely didn't jump one this morning, but that's one thing you want to remember. Just give them time. And, she may go bed up. That's one thing you don't want to do is after you shoot a deer, go jump it because then there's no telling how far they'll go and you know, where they'll go, how, what type of thick stuff they'll get into, and it's a lot more difficult to find. You excited? <laughs> Speechless. Uh, I, think I think I'm more nervous than you were. I was like, they, they started kind of packing up together. I thought I was hunting rams or something. I pack them together. I'm like, move out. Let's run out. Yeah. Make it easier on her. <clears throat> I think you definitely took the biggest one out of the group. Deer jerky coming up. Dance. Well, we're gonna head down and see if we can't find anything. See if we can't find some sign. And uh, if we got a good blood trail, we'll follow it. But if not, we're just gonna uh, kind of find you know the furthest place we can go. We don't want to jump this deer. Uh, find the furthest furthest place, or if the blood trail starts to get thin, and then we'll bring the dog in. Uh, they have a bloodhound here at the chain ranch, and uh, his name's Rooster. He's a pretty good dog, so we'll uh, have him do all the work. You know, he's got a better nose than I do. Let's walk on down there and see if we can find something. About an hour that we waited uh, for her to come up here and bed down. Sure enough, this is a, a lower shot, but you know we gave her time and uh, this is where she fell. Yeah, come over here and hold her head up for the camera. She's a pretty deer. Nice mature doe, and that's, that's one thing uh, that we're really looking forward to with taking, especially out here at the Chain Ranch. Uh, you know, we like to promote that in Oklahoma, taking a doe. Cody and I always try to fill out our tags on does. I think in some places the buck to doe ratio in Oklahoma is as bad as like 12 to one. Uh, so it's always, it's always good to take a doe, but especially a nice mature doe. And then also for your trophy hunters, you know, going out and taking a doe uh, early in the season, that'll uh, get those big bucks to, to run around a little bit more during the rut and be able to see them. But awesome, not bad for your first time hunting. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I got my first one. She's nice one. You're yeah, gonna go get her processed. Yeah. You gonna try to mount her? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. At least get the at least get the pelt done. You know, I've got yeah. my first deer pelt in my room. And I always remember my first hunt when I went out there. I'm just glad that I could have been a part of it. It's yeah, just, it's well, pretty cool. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you got it on video, and we'll make sure to to get that to you. Well, Shanae was the winner of our uh, youth antlers hunt given away at the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, come out here to Chain Ranch and hunt with Cody and I. And uh, you know, that's a that's one thing Cody and I like to do is get out and give away a lot of hunts. Uh, we've given away Buster Boats, uh, do a lot of hunts with uh, disabled persons. And we always have a good time, especially when we're with somebody that's hunting for their first time. But you can always be a part of the show, go to our website. Uh, you can enter a uh, chance to win Buster Boats or any, any type of giveaways, we, we give away hunts. Uh, just like this one to to youth and uh, you know to whoever's uh, eligible to win those and then also you can send us pictures and uh, even video if you have it uh, you'll have to get our address on there and send a copy because we won't be able to send it back to you but we'll be able to put it on the show and uh, inform you when that'll air so I think we should get her loaded up take her back get her cleaned up uh, you know kind of change take a shower kick back and relax well once again Cody and I had a great time out at the youth analyst hunt I'm out on the chain ranch Code and I'd like to thank Buckmaster Central Oklahoma Chapter, the Chain Ranch, CSF, and National Rifle Association for making this hunt possible. Uh, I know I had a great time. I was with Shanae on her first deer hunt. It was pretty cool.
my well, I had a chance to go out with a couple of different kids and uh, get to know them a little better as well as uh, hunt with them. And then coming back after the hunts and, and all the food was great and, and the fellowship was awesome. Cody and I had a great time this year. We've, uh, we've had a good time the, the last couple of years we've done it, so we look forward to next time. And again, thank everybody, the families and all the volunteers, everybody that's involved, and especially uh, mostly the hunters, and uh, for what they did. And I hope everybody had a good time. Look forward to next year. Let's hit the water.